happy day. I'm glad I'm coming from the people who brought you. I'm back. <laughs> And oh my gosh, I, I forgot. I oh, I peed in the pool. <laughs> this is I made the three school billionaire heartthrobs fight over me. Don't you just hate when all the rich boys are fighting over you? Oh, me too. It happens like every day. Three boys made a bet who would make me fall in love with him first, and I got involved in the craziest love story ever. Why can't billionaires ever make a bet over me and then accidentally fall in love with me and give me all their money? Like, please. This is a really, really dramatic way to start I a video. I was walking towards the lockers one day when I noticed the three most popular boys in school looking at me. Oh! Oh! I'll take that one. Actually, I'll take either this one, he can, someone else can have him. Kind of snack. It was the first time in two years they'd noticed me. Then, they were suddenly smiling at me. What's oh, going it. on? I got so nervous, I crashed straight into an open locker door and my- uh, Okay, I mean, hey, you know, you had a few issues with your face, I'm sure this fixed them. True story, my sister ran into a wall, it fixed her teeth. Not completely, she still needed braces, but her teeth kind of stuck out, and there were two little chicklets in the wall and they were pushed back in. Just saying. Books fell to the floor. Wow, what an entry. Seriously? Her? The nerd? Well, she is cute, but are you sure she should be our new target? What do you mean? Okay, okay. I mean, the guys, they're cute, but like this is sounding a little like the guy who follows you home that you want nothing to do with. Heck yeah. I'm gonna make her fall in love with me and win the bet. Get your 10 million dollars ready, losers. We'll 10 million? 10 million?! I do think it's very, very rude. The whole, will you go out with me? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. It was a bet. But if I got 5 million dollars commission off of it, I, I think I, you know, I think I would cry in a bathtub and be like, Oh, no, there's too much of a... <laughs> <laughs> Bring me my grapes, my cheese, thank you, my wine. Hi, my name is Athena, and let me tell you how these three annoying playboys- We know, girl, you've told us three times already. Get to the story. Happened. Someone caught me just in time. <gasps> it was Andre, the guy Andre. who was literally dating half of the female population in our school. Suddenly, I'm not into Andre anymore. He was staring at my lips as he pulled me close. Your lips look lonely. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, Andre, I'm sorry, you're out. Who is the other guy? I like the other guy. Please get off me. Whoa, easy there, baby girl. Walking away, I almost tripped over a random calculator someone had left on the floor. Stop I being so clumsy. Books, and before I could pick them up, someone was doing it for- Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you're, okay, so you're studying Arcane and Goo Goo Gaga? I want to join Goo Goo Gaga class. Before I could pick them up, someone was doing it for me. You should watch your step next time, princess. For a second, oh, it's my boyfriend. I was to see Tanner, there he is. The guy with the biggest Instagram following. The best his parents could do was Tanner. Tanner? I was expecting like a name, whatever. Me and boy, he looks like a prince. Would you mind taking a picture of me for my Insta? He pushed his phone and started posing like he was God. That's gift not to attractive. Women. I didn't know how to react, so I put his phone down on the floor and awkwardly walked away to find. What? You what? You didn't even just hand it back to him? You what? Okay. An empty classroom. As I walked in, I was surprised to see someone sleeping in there. I shook his shoulder to wake him up, only to gasp when I realized it was Lucas, the handsome sleepyhead. What are you doing? Okay, Lucas is kind of like growing on me. <laughs> Here, this is my place. <laughs> the soundtrack for this is so good. Like, it made it so much better that it's ha. <sighs> oh, sorry. I didn't see your name on the door. <laughs> I ignored his sarcasm and was about to head out before he spoke again. We can share this room if you want. Suddenly, I hate him. I'm Team Tanner. And thought we'd been making out in there or something. That teacher, that teacher is not doing okay. This teacher needs a break. These billionaires need to help this teacher out because if you walk through the door looking like this, you are not living your best life. She oh dear. kicked us out and it was so embarrassing. Even more than all the tripping over. I had to avoid these heartbreakers. They were called the triple threat for a reason, and I Who hated called them guys that? like them. After my classes were finished, I found the three of them outside waiting. Oh, he even has the, I mean, red. I thought at first that this was Tanner's car, but it's just my, okay, sorry, that rear view mirror. <laughs> Like, girl, they are super happy to see you. They all smiled at me. Uh-oh. Hey, baby girl. I think you're an Stop agent. saying that. Why? Any guy who says baby girl with the rear view mirror in that awkward of a position, like, I need to get out of there Car right now. Start without you. Come on, princess. Let's get out of here. Coming! <laughs> ride home. 
Ew, he's Lucas got T's! He's got T's on his wheel! Hopefully that means Tesla and not Tanner. Lucas just gave me a nod and signaled for me to get in. What in the world was happening? I hurriedly walked out of the gate to- My inner gold digger is screaming. It's so funny. I can't stand myself. When I entered the cafeteria the next day, I was greeted with milkshakes, coffees, burgers, and nuggets. It was the- Who brought the nuggets? Again. Plus 10 points for Lucas. He brought the nuggets. I Tanner with the Starbucks? Ugh. Alone as I ate. I heard some girls behind me talking about Oh, me. they're so Seriously? jealous of you. Why are they after that lame junior? They hate you, and you know what? It happens. Just keep your chin up. It must be a prank. There's no way they'd notice her otherwise. She's ugly. I turned to look at the girls and said, I really want to punch all you girls right now. But, you know, I'm busy dealing with attractive boys drooling over me now. Ciao. Ah! But I was Get them! Curious. I had to know if I was really the target of a stupid prank. The next day, while I was walking to school, I noticed a familiar sports car following me. Hop in, princess. It was Tanner. This it's time, Tanner. I let's see what his deal is. I'm, I stand Tanner. <laughs> During the ride, I spilled my coffee over his squeaky oh clean dashboard. Oh, oh dear. Oops. Sorry. I'm just so clumsy. I was expecting him. You to did that on purpose? Him, but instead, he reached for some tissues and cleaned my hands with. Okay, true unrelatable story that I have. One time, my friend was taking me for a ride in his really, really nice car. It looked like this one. I opened the door. Not only did it hit the curb, it hit a lamppost and he wasn't even mad at me. I feel like he was mad at me. He was just trying to maintain composure because like at that point, what are you going to do? Them. I found myself staring at him while my heart raced. No, no, no. It was all I just know. an act. I know how you get feel. Get a grip, Athena. When we reached school, he helped me get out of the car. Right. Oh. Slow down. Jeez, so chivalrous. I'm not blind. Seems like it sometimes. Stop I glared it. at him. Is there something you want to say? He just flashed a big smile and turned to fix his hair in the car window. Can these guys just be a little bit more down to earth? It'd be funny if it was a bet and like they were like just being immature, but they actually had some game because none of these guys have game. Oh, so annoying. I walked off to class. Halfway through the lesson, when the teacher had her back to us, someone from the table next to me whispered, Psst. I looked up to see that it was Andre. Why'd you come here with Tanner? You know guys like him are jerks who will just break your heart. You're the you're no, literally I'm the worst totally one. Serious about you. Then he kissed my hand. Oh please. How serious are you? There's no number to express. Then prove what a liar. it to me. Sure, baby girl. But how? I'll tell you about it. Wait, she's like pretending that she doesn't like this, but she's like, then prove it to me. This is 100% what I would do. I'd be like, uh, when I'm sending my script to the animation people, right? And I'm like, I hated it. But prove it to me. Lunch. I can't wait. I swear. I'll do anything for you. Just Love the then date. the teacher kicked him out of the class for making all these noises. Everyone giggled, but he didn't look the least bit embarrassed. He winked and walked off. There's no way that you would get kicked out of class. Even if you try to play it off cool, it's still a walk of shame. It's always a walk of shame. Every single time I've been kicked out of class, no matter how cool I tried to make it, there's no cool way about it. You just, the best thing you can do is just walk away slowly. Lunchtime came and he was already waiting. I wanted to ruin his reputation. What? Especially Why? in front of the girls. So I whispered my dare to him and his eyes grew wide. If I do it, will you be my girlfriend? I nodded. He immediately walked Girl, to the front no. of the cafeteria. Girl, you have three options. You're going to make it just one. On a table and shouted, I have something to confess. I wet my bed every night and I don't know what to do anymore. I burst out laughing when he made a whole drama out of it while fake crying. But oh, to no. my surprise, the girls started comforting him. Oh, no! <laughs> the girls are like, it's okay, baby. You can pee in my bed any night. Plan had backfired. So I sneaked out of the room, devastated. The next day, while I was reaching... No next day. You're his girlfriend now. You made a deal. Library. Lucas suddenly appeared oh. and grabbed it for me. I gave Lucas him a smile, but he just nodded. While I was doing my homework, he sat across from me and started reading a book. I waited for him to say hello or something, but he totally ignored me. Oh no, is he the nerd? Is he the- How to make the girl in front of me fall in love with me? Okay, never mind. Thought he was gonna be sitting there, like, reading Catcher in the Rye, like, I actually enjoy my studies, and I'd like for you to study with me. Can these guys get a little bit more attractive? Because I'm struggling. I asked him what he was reading, but he just gave me a glare. Oh, I get it. He was using the snobbish bad boy style. I moved beside him and leaned in. Are you mute, or does your breath just stink? I was caught oh, off dear. guard when he grinned. Do you really want to know? I immediately pulled away when our lips almost touched. I cleared my throat and got myself back on track. 
Are you free tomorrow? I just need someone to go somewhere with me. What is she doing? Like, she is going in. Uh, they couldn't have picked a more perfect girl because she is going in. I'm about to take this opportunity and turn it into millions. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay, Later let's see how this night, one goes. I did a little research on Lucas and grinned when I read a comment about him having a phobia of heights in one of his Instagram posts. Oh, this is gonna be like a cute moment where they like kiss on the roller coaster. She like comforts him and realizes he's a nice guy. I think he's getting the setup to win here. Surprised when I brought him to an amusement park the next day, I forced him to try all the rides. Oh, that'd be I so was fun. Laughing my butt off. Wait, you made him go on a doom drop? What the? How are you even brave enough to do that? I was laughing. No. My butt off. Whenever no! Like a girl. Stop being such a wuss, Lucas. Let's try the pirate ship one more time. Just then, he started throwing up. And oh dear. Stop laughing. You're so evil. I wanted to have more fun, so I acted like I'd sprained my ankle and let him carry me all around the place. Then I. He sounds nice. <laughs> Maybe you should go for him. Just anybody but Tanner. Okay, wait. What are their names again? Anybody except Man Bun. Asked him to buy me some fries. When he bought them, I said, "Oh shoot, I'm also craving a banana split and a cheeseburger." I could. Oh my goodness. Stop myself from laughing at his annoyed face. Poor guy. This girl is the ultimate opportunist. Like I can't believe. Like she's there. She found out it's a prank, and she is just going in, getting her money's worth. I later fell asleep on the bench while I ate all the food. Mm. All of a sudden, I screamed in his ear. He jolted awake and asked what had happened. I told him that I was just thirsty and I needed some soda. He finally snapped. If you decide that you like him, he's never gonna like you. Finally snapped. Buy it yourself, girl. Jeez, you're so annoying. And just like that, <gasps> Lucas gave up. One down, two to go. Andre Why? continued pestering me at school while Lucas was nowhere to be found. During lunch, Tanner sat beside me and asked me if I'd like to go on a date with him to the Bahamas. I want to get to know yes. you first before going anywhere. No, go to the Bahamas, girl. I don't Come even on. know anything about your family. Not a problem. You could join us for dinner tonight. I did a happy dance on the inside. You don't want to? Why would you? Okay, so I get it. I get it that you want to get back at these guys, but like now the parents are going to get involved. Like if it was me, I would take that Bahamas trip. I'd probably end up, you know, I'd probably end up in a suitcase somewhere, but uh, this is too far. Everything was going according to plan. I told him that I'd come myself, so I just asked his address. That night, I borrowed my friend's hyperactive cats and brought them oh, with me. Oh no, Tanner why would you do that? Tanner looked so happy as he opened the door. My mom's out, so no one can babysit them. I put the basket down and the cats started running everywhere, scratching cats, huh? and knocking over expensive vases. No! Sorry. They get their clumsiness from their mama. He looked totally unaffected. Your He's a billionaire, of course he doesn't care. It's just like rude. You. Come on, dinner's ready, and they're all waiting for you. His parents looked so sophisticated, and I was I love surprised them. to see that he had four little sisters. They all flocked around me like it was their first time oh. seeing a girl. I started fake crying when dinner was served. What's wrong? I don't eat chicken. <laughs> Poor little creatures. His mom asked me, Oh, are you vegetarian? No, only for chickens. Chicken saved my life one time when oh, I was crossing the road. Tanner immediately told the cook to change my food, and when we- Okay, you're trying to inconvenience a billionaire here. Like, you're gonna have to be the annoying one yourself because the chef is gonna do all the cooking here. Started eating, my cat suddenly jumped on the table and oh, turned dear. everything into a disaster. The look of horror on the faces of the Tanner family- Why would you do that to the kids? Sorry. I was shocked when his mom took the cats and started petting them. Unbelievable. It's fine. They're just asking for some love. The mother is ten times the woman you'll ever be. I then placed my feet on the table and let out the loudest burp. Thanks for the splendid meal. Anything for you. Darn. He was such a good actor. Oh my gosh, the family is like, they're all keeping up appearances right now. They're all like, oh, she's just lovely. And then right when she leaves, they're gonna be like, never, ever bring this trash here again. After dinner, his mom showed me their family albums and I couldn't help but notice how cute baby Tanner was. As I watched him play with his sisters, oh, I realized that's that he, how he knows how to treat a self-absorbed jerk after I knew it! I knew I knew it the second I looked at him. I was like, Tanner's the one. The one. While heading out that night, I tripped over something as usual and dropped my glasses. Tanner picked them up from me and looked at my bare face lovingly. W wow, your beauty is so unreal. So oh, is it? Perfect. Is it? I realized that he was actually talking to me. 
I felt my heart beating faster. He looked so sincere, and it made me feel like I was the most beautiful girl in the world. Well, too bad you're never gonna be allowed to go back to his house again unless they're all crazy. And the little sisters are gonna hate you. You do not want to date a brother when his little sisters hate you. Coming from a little sister who has been that little sister who doesn't like the big brother's girlfriend, that's a problem. Apparently, my efforts to get rid of him hadn't worked tonight, but why was I smiling? The next day, Andre sneaked in through my window. Ew, I hate Why him. Get him out of here. here. There's a party nearby. Come on. I told him- Also, have you forgotten that you're Andrew's girlfriend because of the bet you guys made? That parties weren't my thing. And besides, I didn't have anything to wear. Say no more, baby girl. Oh, Come dear. with me. I needed to mess with him more. You need to stop coming up with problems that can be solved with money. Why don't you bring cats to his house? He bought me a cute red dress and gave Ooh. me a makeover. You wow. let him buy it for you? You look like someone I know. Who? My next girlfriend. Oh, please. Oh, dear. I went to the party with Andre, and everyone was shocked upon seeing me. They thought I was a totally different person. While dancing with Andre, I noticed Tanner and Lucas looking at me from across the room. A girl walked up to Tanner and started dancing with him. For some reason, oh, no. the sight made my blood boil. Oh, me too, girl. Me too. Go to punch toilet, her. And when I came back, Andre was now dancing sweetly with another girl. Doesn't matter. Course, Doesn't matter. Forget he it. He was a player, so I wasn't surprised. Lucas followed me when I went outside. Sometimes, sometimes in life, the trash takes itself out. It's all good. I'm sorry about what happened the other day. Athena. I was so stupid for doing such a horrible thing to a pretty girl like you. Shut oh, up. Wow. Get out. From a jerk to a Romeo. He really wanted to win that bet. I really like you, and I hope you feel the same way. He looked no. so genuine that I almost got carried away. I was about to say something, but... Does this girl have any loyalty? She's like falling half in love with all of these guys at the same time. Come on, pick Tanner. Move on. Someone snatched me away from him. Tanner, what's your Next. problem, dude? That's it. We need to stop this. I won't let you play with her feelings. What are you talking about? I really like her. And uh -oh. pigs can fly, Lucas. Before they could punch each other, Andre came over to stop them. And I uh -oh. just stood between them, looking like a confused little kitten. Cut it out, you idiots. She's mine. When you're so cute that you break up friendships. Stay out of this, loser. You're hopeless. She was about to say yes to me. Excuse me? I don't even like you. Uh -oh. Shut up. You know what? Take the Dawn money. Here's 10 million for each of you. Ow! Just leave her alone. Best Ow! decision ever, Tanner. I was shocked. Did he just give away $20 million? He did. Just like that? Tanner then grabbed my hand and said, Get out of here, Athena. You don't deserve to be treated like this. He just gave up 1% of his net worth to shut these two guys up. Stop pretending like you really care, Tanner. Tanner looked so furious. Cut it out. Get them, Tanner. i about the bet all this time, and I've been playing all of you idiots. No, don't, you don't, all don't. Lose. No, you all no, now you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose twice. Andre and Lucas grabbed the bags from Tanner and ran away while oh, Tanner dear. just stood there shocked. I'm sorry for everything, Athena. Goodbye. My heart sank <gasps> as I watched him walk away. My wish was finally granted. The jerks had finally stopped bothering me, and I should have been happy and relieved. No, right? you're stupid. But I wasn't. The next day, my mom came. How dare you say that you were playing all of them? I would have done the old. And I was playing all of you, but I realized that I like Tanner. And I should have been happy and relieved, right? But I wasn't. The next day, my mom came running to me with shocking news. What? Someone called Tanner had put $10 million into our account. We're rich. Wait, what? What was he doing? Tanner! He to to talk to him, That's 3% of there. your net worth! For two weeks, there was no sign of Tanner. Then one day, he finally showed up with a gorgeous- No! Woman. She was all over him. After school, I found them kissing behind the bleachers. No! I tore him away and asked him about the money, but he walked away saying, I don't know what you're talking about. Ah! Anyway, as he walked away, ah! I knew he was lying. So that night, I went to his house. His mom told me to wait in his room. As I looked around- <laughs> Wait in his room? Wow, that's a mom who trusts her son. She must be so disgusted. It's about that little cat stunt that you did that she's just like, well, there's no way he would ever like her. I still don't get why she would prank his family. I saw something that shocked me. My lost what? anklet. It was placed carefully on his desk. Just was then he the doing door some opened on and it? Tanner came in. He looked shocked to see me and the anklet in my hand. Explain this. 
For a minute, he looked like he was going to deny everything. But to my surprise, he came forward and held my hand. I'm sorry I agreed to that stupid bet. I'm sorry that I hurt you. I don't want to do that anymore. I tried to forget you and what I did to you. That's why I was with that girl. Athena, oh dear. I love you. I always oh. have since the oh. day I first spoke Whoa. to you and found your anklet. Can Whoa. you forgive me? Yes, Tanner, I forgive you. He looked at me What about the poor blonde? Oh, that's it? I said I love you. Do you? That's not how this works, okay? I just glitched at the thought of her saying I love you back. Oh, yes, yes, that too. He rolled his eyes at me and said, I can't believe I fell in love with you. Kinda late for that. Just shut up and kiss me now. Every moment tonight, wow. What a romantic, lovely story. I, okay, so this is like full on like fantasy core. Like this is full on like, like this almost seems like a fan fiction in a way. Like this is less like submit your stories, like your real stories that happened. Less of that and more like, this is what you dream of happening. This is what you dreamed of happening to you when you were in high school and here you go. I will say though that my story animated, like the last one I was impressed. Now I'm even more impressed. That's why I'm back. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out my story animated for some more fun and fresh animations. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye.